Welcome back. My name is Power Up Biku. The game, Mass Effect. Almost said Kingdom Hearts there. Now, the goal of this episode is to hopefully get off the Citadel. But before we do that, I need to fulfill this side quest for the good doctor. And hopefully, not this way. Hopefully find all the keepers. Now, if I remember correctly, they're all in close proximity to fast travel points. But if I'm not utterly mistaken, let's see how many keepers I have left to find, actually. Two more. So, part of this episode might be me running around looking for those two keepers, but if I'm lucky, it'll also serve as a point for me to talk about various things. First, let's talk to Moreland here. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies. But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Things have changed, Marlin. A change, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. Shut up, Marlin. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? Leave the doctor alone. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. You're shutting down a medical clinic. What if someone needs treatment? What if you need treatment? Hey, hold on. I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good well, there's you, that human. taken care of. I was about to say, you should go. Maybe you might need medical treatment. I might be the one who gives you the need for that medical treatment. Uh, let's see, did I scan the keeper in here? Let me double check. Well, I know where one, whoops. I'm looking at a guide to make double sure that I'm not missing. I scan that one. But, uh, I know where one of them is, which means there's only really one left. One of them is up in the uh, space dock. So, that's one I don't have to worry about. And let's tell the doctor the good news that she is no longer under the gun. How did things go? He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. A thug said he worked for a man named Baines. Sound familiar? Baines? I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. We worked together a long time ago. What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. What about your captain? We'll see what the captain can tell us. I wish I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help you with, Commander? Oh. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Let's see. Journal. Signal tracking. Privateers. That's in a different system. Also in a different system. Let's see different system. Need to give that to Emily. Conrad, which we'll take care of later. And this should be cleared. Oh yeah, I need to speak with Sheer again. So then, let's see. I need to head 
into CSEC, I believe. Let's see. Journal signal tracking. Wards access corridor. Why am I outside shores den? I meant to head to CSEC. Well, that's just me being a dodo brain. Nothing new here. Let's see. I think I need to go down this way. Let's take a look at the map. No, not there. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Of course they did. Nothing like dodgy super corporations to fill out the playtime of your video game. One thing I don't like about the... Uh, map in Mass Effect 1 is that it's very unclear, I find. But then again, what do I know? I'm not a video game designer. I clearly don't know anything. Uh, let's see. Where is that signal? Not here. Could it be down here? Oh, hello. Well, there's Emily. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <laughs> you've got Fist files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. All right, level up. Let's see. I need to do this. And oh, someone got an ability. Good job, Tally. And advanced overload. Very good. Uh, Rex? Nope. Still nothing, you old Krogan dog. Let's see. Is he a dog or a grumpy old troll who lives under the bridge? Interesting questions. Let's see. There. That's where I need to go. Which means I need to take another elevator. Joy of joys. In a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. That was fast. I just barely gave her the OSDs and already she's on the report. Well, good job, kiddo, for working fast. I can appreciate the work ethic, if nothing else. Well, I say that. No offense to any reporters, both, well, I won't say, hmm, I should probably stop before I start shooting my mouth off. Yes, that's probably wise. Nope, scan him. Let's see. So how are you liking your posting at the academy? 
It's good. It's busy now. It looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace the new signal. Okay. Let's see what the journal has to say. You can trace it. You can find out where the money is going. Hopefully it won't be too difficult. And another gosh dearly darn elevator. I hate coming down here. And I'm still probably slightly lost. How can you fight your own people, Rex? There aren't that many of you left. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. Okay then. Well, now we know where Rex stands on the matter, which is always good to know. Now let's see. And it looks like we've stopped. Lovely. Before I'm forced to actually talk about anything. Ha 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 ha. But uh, speaking about talking, I saw this very interesting thing in a Twitch chat recently. And this interesting thing was a claim that it took 148.18 licks to get to a center of the Tootsie Pop. And I was like, what kind of weird mutant tongue are you using? Because that seems way too few licks. In any case, there's the source of the signal. And we are about to be in for a small surprise. Hello? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. The signal's coming from Bar Levon's office first, I forgot. Whoopsie doodles. I'm just a dodo brain. Got a moment, Spectre? Hello. Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures. But their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. I eliminate them and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. You are the first human Spectre, and you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. All right. And we get two renegade points for doing that. Oh, well. Now then. Where's that? Greetings, Earth Clan. I believe congratulations are in order, Commander Shepard. You are the first human to join the Spectres, yes? It's a great honor. One you are no doubt ready for. A word of warning, though. There are many eyes watching you now, Commander. Some of them want to see you fail. I, however, wish you only success. Perform well and you bring the Earth Clan one step closer to joining the Council. And if they let your people in, maybe there is hope for my own species one day, yes? I agree. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. All right, there's the signal source. Another relay. Whoever it is, they're somewhere on the Presidium. 
And now I head in here for the completion of this particular side quest. This is it. I'll see if I can find out where those stolen credits are going. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Or not. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. You're not just a programmer of VI. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Can't we resolve this peacefully? How can you say that to this thing? You know it will turn on us. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape, but if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction and terminated the AI. I see, I see. Oh well. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. It's a pity this guy doesn't want to see reason. Now, I hate this minigame because you have to... Oops. Really? Two, three, four. There we go. And the evil AI is thwarted. Although I wish we could have talked some sense into him. Oh well. I got a good chunk of credits and XP for our troubles. Kinda sad though. Give me liberty. Or give me death. Now then. Where's that last... Point of interest? No, that's Avena. I don't want to talk to Avena. I don't like Avena. Oh well. I need to talk to Shira. And get some free XP. Huzzah! Hmm. Septimus has sent word. Apparently, he sought the consort's forgiveness. Yep, that was my doing. Because I am a boss. Do children still say that? Like a boss? Hmm. Oh well. I'm gonna say it if the gosh darn wants to say it. Now then. I will talk with you. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, 
proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Alright, so that's one of the side, uh, side quests that you get for... Uh, uh, yeah. Let me think before choosing my words. That's one of the cutscenes that change based on your... Uh, what you choose for your psych and your background. Now then. Ernok Rex has learned fitness and Tali has dampening now. Very good, very good all around. And I need to check out equipment apparently. Radioactive rounds, very nice. Are they useful? Nah, not really. I'll just leave that as is. And let's see if I can't find that pesky keeper that I've been looking for. Hmm, where would you be? In the last place I look, obviously, because it's the last keeper that I'm looking for. And where would that last place be is the question. Oh well. I will find you eventually, mark my words. You can't hide forever. Actually. Well, he can hide forever. It is my job to unhide him forever, I guess. I could have probably said that better. But, uh, oh well. What's said is said. And it is forever marked in history. Huh. Not that one, not that one. Where, oh, where could you be? With your spindly crab-like legs. And your bug eyes. Oh, where could you possibly be? And actually... The trinket that Shayira gave you is also part of a, not side quest, but it's something that you can find later on. Let me see if I can... I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Let's see, I think I got the keeper back here. I did. Let me double check the guide I have pulled up, the wiki. Let's see. Name room. Got that one. Got that one. Pretty sure I got this one. 
Yeah. I got the one in the Volko yeah. In the Volus and Elkor embassies. I'm pretty sure. Let me double check just to make sure. And this room doesn't open. So it's not in there. Is it in the ambassador's office? I don't think so. Oh, it is you! I am mildly upset. And the ambassador isn't here. So, I'm just going to fast travel to C-Sec. And we should be done with everything in the Citadel for now. Yeah. Yep, that's all the current side quests for the Citadel. Which is most excellent. Allow me to be your guide. Hush, Avina. And with plenty of time to spare. Let's see, wards locations. C-Sec. And if I'm fortunate, I can hack that terminal now. If I did my job right. It might be a hard decryption though, so I might be wrong. Come on. Huh? Did I miss the window for this side quest? Curses. Was it in here? Good to see you, Commander. Oh well. Oh, wait. Wait, there is one more thing I need to do on the Citadel. Or not. Never mind. Well, I want to finish that quest, so I need to go talk to them. So, I'll swing by Flux first. And then... Head out to... The, uh... Ship. And then we'll be done with the Citadel. And done with the episode. Ouch! That sounded painful. Yeah, what is it? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. Y he assumed I was cheating. And yet here you are, cheater. I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. Still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Yet yeah, no, this is I'm one. Take my chances the old-fashioned way. Hmm. Suit yourself. This is one well, side quest. Calculations to do. Goodbye. Uh, one side quest I have no intention of doing. I'm not gonna cheat for hmm. Doran. Uh, for that guy in Doran's bar. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. And yet, you seem less than pleased. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. Ah, uh, poor Rita. The price of having... a sister, I guess. Well, you're the one who asked for her back, so no takesy backsies. Besides, I already got my rewards for it. 
Now, we can head to CSEC. Scan the last of the keepers. And be on our way to the greater galaxy. And up we go. So. You Quarians messed up the whole galaxy when you let the Geth break free. Do your people ever talk about it? Do the Krogan talk about starting a foolish war that resulted in the Turian sterilizing your people? All the time. I like this duo. I think I'm keeping this duo. Because these two are great together. I like how Tali has a little bit of sass to her. That's what makes her second best girl. But we appear to be almost at the docking bay. I don't want to talk to you just yet. I want to scan that final keeper. That fanfare. And you get a ton of EXP and credits. Is there anything else I need to do for that quest? Nope. But uh, for doing that quest, there is a little something you get in the sequel, but we'll talk about that when the time comes. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Feed her well, Commander. This isn't right. The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Ferros and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the Conduit is before he does. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess, and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll do whatever it takes to stop Saren. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. What does that even mean? You were a human long before you were a Spectre. Well, duh! Yes, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. 
I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. Why'd you let him get away with it? Oops. Who do you think the Count... I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. I want to know the truth about you and Saren. Oops. We... No. The bad. The simple. The only thing I You're care right. about is... It's no... I should All go. Right. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay. Whoopsie. Got into a bit of a dialogue loop there. But... There's just one more thing I want to do before ending off the episode. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. You okay there, game? I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. Our enemy knows we're coming. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. Fancy speeches won't stop Saren from finding the conduit. If we really want to make the Captain proud, we better get this bird in the air. Yes, ma'am. Alrighty. And with that epic speech out of the way, I believe it's a good place to end the episode. Next time, we're headed straight to the Artemis Tau Cluster. But until then, remember to like, comment, subscribe, Ring the little dingly bell, and if you would be so kind, get off my lawn, you filthy casuals.